All right, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, 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 Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors and salutations to all you Akim out there that's laboring in his truth and sincerity without wavering. Uh, this is a, another another GMS en route, and we're going to call it the. Uh, uh, leadership or let it let it happen naturally I'm not sure however the spirit have me write it it'd be something to that effect which you know it's going to be a little short song you know I was talking with a, a brother you know a brother that's well all the brothers are dead, dead to me in the faith but a brother that's that I'm close with and, and, and it's true because the spirit bonds you the scriptures speak about about, a, about friends you know and that's heavy because Yahweh Shai he eventually you know right before he left he broke down to the disciples, the 12. He said, look, I no longer call you servants, but friends. And that's what's, what happens, you know, and it's, and it's truth. Because and a friend is not just just uh, someone that, not that you give them a pass or you're a friend. No, a friend, in every bit of the word, is a, is a brother, a real brother. You understand? And, and they tell you that in the Apocrypha about how a true friend is like, is like the uh, faithful medicine. I'm not quoting it verbatim, but it tells you. Friends gonna always be there when you you know when you go through when you catching hell when you up when you down you know what I'm saying they're not gonna seek nothing but but good for you they're not gonna be setting up traps or not looking to watch you fall and so forth and so on so in the in the work the most I mean some brothers are, are, are solo dolo brothers so to speak but even in that the most I still paired them up with with men and brothers you know. And in this, in this faith, you have certain men that the Lord, you know, uh, hook you up with, you know what I'm saying, so to speak, or, or that's always there, that's always got your back and you got their back type of thing. So with, with all that being said, the brother I was speaking to, that meant me speaking on some things about, you know, leadership and, you know, a lot of brothers like want to be leaders and they come into this thing and want to be over men and, and they not realize what it takes to be in that position, man. That's, a, that's not the easiest position per se. And that's why it, speak, it speaks about Hebrews, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to pull it, Lord willing, pull it. Hebrews 13 and 7, it says, Remember them which have the root over you, who have spoken unto you the word of the Most High, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Now, that's easier said than done because. You know, especially in these times that we're in, dealing with, with uh, Israel, Jake, Jake is Jake is bugged out, man. Jake is unruly, you know. And we all coming from a, a a fucked up world, you know. The world most most brothers raised by their mother, their grandmother. You know, some brothers raised by their fathers, but nonetheless, coming out of a, a world that teaches you how to deal with you, deal on your emotions, which is off, instead of dealing with the scriptures. And that's why you have so many different uh, Israelite classes because you got supposed Israelites that coming into the truth, they still coming with that luggage from the world, meaning those those emotions, that spirit of a woman. You can't have the spirit of a woman being in the truth, serving the Lord. As a man of the Lord, you can't have a spirit of a woman on you, man. And you're supposed to rebuke that spirit, man, that, that you know, who the, hell, who the hell is this guy to tell me what to do? I'm doing, well, look at that tit for tat. Well, he ain't doing this, he ain't doing that. Who the hell is, you know, like that's the spirit of a woman. You know, it's getting uh, 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 offended over everything, man. Being in this truth is, is it's a lot, man, because sometimes you might even have to tell a brother that might be dear to you or close to you, you might have to curse him the fuck out. You might have to uh, levy a judge, if you're in the position over him or whatever, you might have to levy a judgment upon him because the brother might be going off. You might have to be. You know, sat down and suspended or whatever, like I tell you in Thessalonians and other parts of the scriptures, man. You see, and you can't wrestle judgment. You can't, you know. So, so being in a in a position of a leader, it, it, it's not. You got to let it happen naturally, man. You know, you got you can't force the course of the water. I mean, it's beautiful. You're growing in the truth, but don't don't sit there and force the course of the water. Don't get beside yourself. Don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, so don't rush to get old, so to speak. You know, and, and another thing, too, is don't, like the scriptures speak about falling into the condemnation of, of a novice, you know? 
uh, of the devil lifted up like a novice, being a novice, you don't want to be like that, man. You got tons of examples of guys who went out like that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot into it. And matter of fact, let me go to the uh, same book, right? Uh, Hebrews, the fifth chapter, which is, you know, we bring this out a lot throughout the years, but it, it's, it's a lot being said in, in, this, in these scriptures, man. It says, uh, Hebrews 5 and 12, for when the time he ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principle, principles of the oracles of the Most High, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. You see, and, and that's the thing. A lot of brothers sometimes think they're on a higher level than what they are. So you get certain brothers trying to go or go so deep because they think it's trying to out deep another brother. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna out deep the the apostles. I'm gonna out deep the elders. I'm gonna out deep. It's not about that, man. All right. It's about the true charity edifies. It's about. I mean, if the spirit not to say if the spirit can't work on a brother, but why? why you know why you want to learn something nobody don't know just to say that you're better than that person. That that's not in the scriptures, man. The apostle Paul spoke about. It. He said, "Why are you glorying as if you, you know, as if you wasn't chosen in this thing, as if you came up with the, with this truth." We ain't coming with the, the Lord chose us. He said it clearly, straight. John the 15th chapter said it straight. He chose us, you see? So therefore you're walking in humility, man. Scripture said, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. You know, not to get like, you know, a lot of these guys, cause you're gonna get, you get fame, you get uh, YouTube su success, so to speak, but that could go to your head. That could go to your head, man. Don't let that YouTube success or you know, and again, like I said, in the other videos, brothers get off on these titles and, you know, not all brothers, but certain brothers actually, you know, want to be called an elder. He's been around for two years, a year or whatever. You want to be called elder, Zaquan, and all, which, okay, if you fill those shoes, so be it. If that's your, you understand? But that's a lot. That's something that you got to let happen naturally. Like when the apostles, when they were called the elders going back on the YouTube circuit, that was the rest of the congregation that called them, so I was calling them elders. That, that The name Great Millstone came from other brothers, you see, which that was the spirit because, yeah, the apostles on down are the elders. You, you understand? But it wasn't a thing of, you came into the thing like you had this, this rap, Elder Quinnah. What the fuck is the elder of what, man? El elderly, elderly owned? What type of elder are you talking about? You, you understand? He ain't put no, no work in or nothing of the sort, but yet, you know, came out there and he fooled a lot of a lot of guys at first. And a lot of guys still won't admit that they accepted that demon because that's a, a thing of growth and, and, and lack of character. They haven't really grown in this truth. They think it's just about yelling and putting a good speech together, a, a feel good speech. Nah, this thing goes deep, man. And a lot of times through the spirit of the Lord, what I said to one of the brothers I was talking to, Right? Sometimes the apostles make it look look too easy, so to speak. So whereas you, you see a lot of other guys, they think, oh, this it's nothing to it's nothing special with what, what uh, the apostles are doing. I could do the same thing. You know, I will just start me up a camp, uh, uh uh print up t shirts, do this, do that. You know, then they, they then they think in the wrong way, then they going like it's a hustle, you know, I monetize this. 501c3 that you see and they don't fully they don't get it you see they don't get it but you're gonna have people that that stay course that stay course because it at the end of the day uh like the uh john the baptist said bring forth fruit meat for repentance not all brothers that are israelites are fruit meat for repentance remember john the baptist wasn't talking to a bunch of heathens he was talking to a bunch of niggas that knew that they were israelites all right remember that you see but a lot of brothers actually get in, into that point where they think that this is, uh, you know, something, something, you know, of that sort. And like I said, the apostles make it look too easy where everybody think they could do it. Like even in construction, brothers that's in construction, construction, pardon me, such as carpenters, you know, I do electrical work, you know, you, you know, you, you might do a job at somebody's house and if they leave, it, it looks all crazy and messed up. When they come back, it's all finished. 
you know, you done roughed in, snaked in some recessed lights and shit, and they don't even know how the hell you did it, right? But they sit there and see that you got it done. Oh, that's easy. They think they could do it. Well, why are you charging me so much? That's, that's nothing. All you did is rent a watch, not realizing all the hell and all the experience more so because that's the, the greatest thing and, and it's truth is experience. So you see what I'm saying? So I'm going to read on. It says, for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness for he's a babe. And the apostle Paul was saying that in Corinthians, the third chapter, man. So I can't even go into the deep spiritual things because you're still carnal, you're still babe, you're still, you know, uh, uh, warring over who's over this or who's over that one. You know, just bickering like, like bitches and, and, and gossiping. We ain't supposed to be, be doing that, man. You know, just do the work, man. Look, man, look America's on fire, literally. And Yahweh Shai said that that's how it was going to be in Luke, the 12th chapter before he come, that the fire was going to already be started. So we're in a time now where we should be prophesying more than ever, man. You see, let, let the, the prophecies come to pass. And then also being humble because the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be delivered. So we're still not guaranteed that we're going to make it, man. Remember the parable of the unprofitable servant. All this, the work brothers is doing, brothers, you know, and, and which, hey, through the spirit, brothers is fighting. Because YouTube is being a, some bitch-ass niggas, <laughs> so to speak, as far as deleting everything, man. They del deleted so many of my videos and accounts. You don't know what the hell is happening, you know. But that's part of the battle, too. The battle, you know, intenses, you know. So through the spirit of the Lord, you got to battle and fight and all that. But you still, you know, through all the fighting and whatever hours up that you studied and been praying, you still got to say that, look, I'm an unprofitable servant, you see? Because basically we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and what we're commanded, you know? Again, you know, it's easier said than done. It says, verse 14, but strong meat belongeth to them that are of a full age. And you can look that word up. It goes into a lot. You know, full age goes into to um two hours slaying. That made me think of the, the two thirds. But it make, it goes into um what you call it, being mature of a mature age, right? It says even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil, meaning these brothers been through it you understand like the apostles you know when they tell you about how long they've been in you know the things they've seen that's not per se just a thing that's not bragging that's to let you know that these men know what the hell they're talking about because they've been through it man you know and us elders that came up under the apostles we've been through it we've seen it we learned and the lord you know grew, grew us up in the faith and we're still growing you know we're still growing and this knowledge you're always growing. You should always be growing. You see? You should always be growing. You never get to reach a, 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 a wall or, or a ceiling where you can't grow no more. If you do that, then some, you ain't doing something you're supposed to be doing. You understand? But the whole point, you know, like I said, Spirit, I was talking with the brother, and he mentioned, he said, hey, that might make for a good lesson. And then the Spirit, just, just that quick, the Spirit gave me, you know, few things to say on it some other scriptures as well which i mean i know you brothers pretty much got the gist of it you know what i'm saying hopefully i hope it was edifying but um you know hey brothers just let everything come naturally man don't try to make yourself to be nothing who was the guy i think it was jonathan during the time of the maccabees he wanted to you know he went to call out he wanted to have his name written in the, in the stones and uh he went he went all out trying to uh, uh, go out to war before everybody and, and, and I believe he got stomped out by an elephant, man. He got killed by trying to sit up there and show his ass, you know what I'm saying, so to speak. So, hey, in this truth, man, brothers, don't let you know, YouTube fame get to your head because that's what happened to, you see a lot of other Israelites that's doing different things than what they were doing is because they let the YouTube success, you know, people calling them, you know, a good good. Uh, right on, brother. Good speak. Good show, brother. You're the, you're the best Israelite teacher on the planet. You know, hey, look, man, that's why in the spirit, I'm possible, man, we ain't no fucking star celebrity. We're not looking for 
none of that gas. And that's the spirit that the apostle Paul and the rest of the apostles was in. They cursed one city out because they were sitting there uh, lifting them up like the stars and stuff, like the, the false, like the uh, deities they, they were following. So Paul and um, I think it was Barnabas, they, they, they ripped into him. Said, look, man, don't call us no Ju Jupiter or none of that. Just men of the Lord at the end of the day. But a lot of Israelites, they, you know, they got caught up into that, that, uh, uh, what Pastor Kabar said, coat, coat of personality. And then, so now they got to keep feeding that coat of personality. They got to keep coming up with gimmicks and this, that, and the third. Because why? They didn't, they didn't do what the Lord said to do at the end of the day. When Yahweh Shai, you got to look at it. When Yahweh Shai came, what did he do? He came humbly. He was teaching the, the gospel, prophesying, quoting the scriptures, right? Gathering the men to teach it. And he was teaching them sternly of how to, and showing them the right example to be. He wasn't doing a lot of things that you see a lot of these different groups do, all right? But um, anyway, that's that's the point right there. I'm going I'm to leave it right there. And like I said, I hope this is uh, edifying to, to you uh, brothers out there. Lord's will. And as always, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And I say Shalom to all you who say Akim, Shalom.